isn't his first return from competition as well. Um, he, he did the right thing. He didn't jump straight into a mixed martial arts bout. He went and has tested himself in the grappling world and has competed and has so happened to be undefeated since this knee injury as well and uh, has really proved himself uh, to himself to be healthy tonight. Tiberius getting us ready for this cool main event fight. Former Division I basketball player Julius Juicebox Walker. He's brought that skill set over to MMA, and you can see the explosiveness in his takedowns too. He's a, he's a fun fighter to watch. HD Lee trying to play spoiler tonight to the hometown kid. Good pace from HD early. Oh, it's an easy right hand. Cracking right. Got him off balance. Got up quickly, Justin. It was good for him to get to his feet that quickly. He's making, making Julius work for that takedown now. Julius uncooked a right hand and sat HD down. He's collected himself well. He's doing a great job playing off there the hands here. As he gets taken down. Powerful takedown. Good, back up onto a knee on the head. Uh -oh. Julius trying to threaten strong. to create guillotine. Look, he used it to get up. Just if, smart. If he, if he switches to a, a regular guillotine here, he'll have a better of a chance to finish, I think, at this angle. But this arm in is working well for him at the moment. Yeah, Julius just trying to trying he's, to get out of that he, position right now. He's, he's, he, if he switches to the regular, uh, regular guillotine, he's going to finish. He, and he's able to get off. Here comes the ground and pound. Raining down shot after shot on Esley. Reposition, HD. Julius needs a... Slow this pace back down for one second. Anytime he's unloaded, HD has found himself in, in an advantageous position so far in the scrambles. Yeah, you know, Ju Julius was trying to pass to the half guard there. Look, now that Esley just using that guillotine. Well, and now that we favorite. see Julius starting to slow it down a bit, we're, we're seeing this start to change a little in the grappling. He's got the head hype now. He's working to keep him flat. And a good job to get to one knee by Esley. That was enough for him to pop up. And you know Julius wants to take him right back down, right back into his world. Get heavy on your hips, HD. Julius has got to get better head position here if he wants to keep this position, though. Yeah, Trying to get his go. hands together. Good job by Esley holding that right hand for a moment. In, in, in this position where Julius has got him pressed up against the cage, we cannot be ear to ear. We've got to try and keep our forehead in the chin, or at least our forehead in the temple on, on the same side here. Here he goes, offering some knees to Esley. Ooh, Jackson down. Little outside trip there. And he's almost a half, or side, side control. He's been wanting that position. He got it for a moment. Uh-oh, he's, he's going for, for that the far side corner. Yep. We threaten that submission to elicit that, le that left hand reaction there, just to get it over. To get him to turn his back. Oh, Absolutely. He's beautiful. Right where Julius Walker wants it. He's got the back of HDS Lee. And he's got two minutes to work in the first round. That's the juice chance rain out. Great hip field. there from Julius. Juice box Walker to stay on top into a dominant position. Wow. Able to use the fence was S Lee to, to get juice box off, but that ground and pound. Uh-oh. He's, he's got the leg. He's got the outside 50-50 on the bad knee of Julius Walker. And a great job to scramble and recover to a safe position. Yep, gets the side control again. Quick pace to this co-main event so far. Been and a half here in round number one. Collecting the bottom side wrist there is Julius Juice Box Walker. You've heard me say all night for these guys to stay behind the shoulders. Big shots, big shots. And watch Julius do the same and work here. HG's just got to start to build to his feet here. I mean, Good at, elbow. At, at some point, technique's got to go out the window, and you got to start to fight back to your feet here. Fight the hands. 
Looks like he's got one leg wrapped up, not anymore. Circles to the back of Esley. Blood is pouring from the nose. Another, another one, He's another just one, covering up one. here. Now he's starting to move. Yeah, Nessie's turtling up right here. It's close, big shots by Ruiz Walker. Zach Tybris is warning him. He's moving. But he's fighting up to his feet, Justin, you're right. That's it, Julius Juicebox. 1-0. Oh. Good stoppage from referee Zach Tybris. A A A HD agrees with him. He, he was moving until he wasn't, and uh, I think, if anything, we were just seeing the way the tides were starting to turn there. Julius Shoesbox was ground and pounding him out right there. He only had about a minute to work, but he's moving. He's fighting up to his feet. Big right. left hand That's up it, against Julius the cage. You know, covering oh, no. up and, and not really doing much as far as uh, keeping your head safe. Um, it's one thing to cover up and move your head, but to cover up and just accept the blows as they come and hope that a guy tires out. Um, you know, once again, referee Zach Tigris doing his best to keep these fighters safe. This is um, what we were waiting for, Justin, is the question. Can Julius Juicebox turn pro? He can, and how successful will he be? Well, he just had a great start to that career tonight, and I can't wait to see him back. 1-0, light heavyweights be on the lookout. Or heavyweight, he can, he can do both. And he's healthy, he's back. And a show of respect between these two fighters tonight. Another first round finish, back to back. has came along to get to this moment tonight. You know, I said it earlier this evening, redemption is what the theme of this card is about. And a, a moment like that for Julius uh, doesn't spell out anything different. His dream was to be a professional athlete. Tonight, he turned pro. And not just that, he's gonna be a good pro too for, for many years to come.